guys, welcome back to Gluten Free Guilt Free. After my super hit Gluten Free Roti, I am back with another sensational recipe of stuffed gluten free paratha. Look wise, taste wise, texture wise, it is same like your normal paratha. So no more missing of paratha. I am also going to show you two ways of stuffing the filling of the paratha. So let's get started. In a mixing bowl, add gluten-free flour mix. Please refer to the description box for the link. Then add some salt in it and then add hot water little by little at a time. And make sure you are using hot water and not just lukewarm water. Hot water is needed for soft texture. My flour mix contains psyllium husk as a binder. You can replace it with xanthan gum or flaxseed egg. Nicely mix everything, crumble it and add hot water little by little at a time and do not add it at once because gluten free flours take time to absorb the water and to ensure that there is enough of water we have to knead it with hands so that you can feel how much water we will need to add. So knead this dough for about 5 to 10 minutes. Kneading, nicely kneading is very very important here. And now I am adding just half tablespoon of oil. And I am just kneading again the dough. And make sure that the dough is soft. And now we have to knead it to form it smooth as well. If you have stand mixer, you can use it as well. You can see now it is non-sticky. It is not sticking to my hand and it is very smooth. I'll show you the consistency. This is the perfect consistency that we are looking for. Now keep this at rest for 5 minutes. I'm just covering this up with a cling wrap. Let it rest so that psyllium husk will absorb some water. If you are using xanthan gum, you can directly start rolling the dough. Meanwhile, we will prepare the filling. For that, you will need boiled potatoes. Make sure that uh, they are just boiled until fork tender without making them mushy. So pressure cook them until 3 to 4 whistles depending on the size of potatoes. I have taken here 3 medium sized potatoes. Cool them slightly and peel while still warm. Ensure your boiled potatoes are not mushy or soggy. Then mash the potatoes or you can also grate it. Then add spices. So first turmeric powder, red chili powder, some cumin powder. You can also add coriander powder but I am not adding it. Then amchur powder for tanginess. You can also add chaat masala or some lemon juice. Then add salt finely chopped coriander then penance seeds although it is optional then I am also going to add some finely chopped green chilies these are again optional as for your taste you can adjust the spiciness then mix everything well combine everything well and make a mixture and keep this aside here our stuffing is ready now I will show you how to roll the paratha for that after five minutes my dough is absolutely set I'm going to knead it for a minute to make it smooth and pliable if you press down the dough with your finger it should bend easily meaning it is soft enough like this so this is perfect divide the dough in equal parts with this proportion uh, I'm going to make three parathas medium sized parathas roll a dough ball in your palms to smooth and lightly apply the gluten free flour mix with the help of thumb and your index finger make pocket like structure and then stuff the stuffing inside this ball round shape like this just press gently and move it down and seal the edges like this 
it's okay if it is breaking also because we are going to apply some floor to it and as you know gluten free dough is always very very delicate to handle so that's fine don't worry about it now sprinkle a good amount of gluten free flour mix and roll this dough ball to make a round shape roll it out gently into 6 to 8 inch circle don't forget to sprinkle flour before rolling the dough and if the edges are breaking just seal it with your thumb paratha are generally thick so this is the perfect thickness and now it is time to cook this paratha on preheated tawa or griddle so gently put the paratha on tawa and cook it nicely from both the sides on medium to high heat we used to really miss this stuffed paratha but now there is no more missing and it is just like your normal paratha so when one side is done just gently flip the paratha yeah gently and then apply some oil on top you can also use butter ghee as per your choice I'm applying oil, groundnut oil. Apply evenly everywhere. And this also helps for increasing the softness of paratha. Now again flip it and apply oil on other side as well. Cook well on both the sides till you see golden spots. Your paratha is ready. Making stuff aloo paratha is a little bit challenging but with little bit of practice I am very sure you will be pro in making. And here you can see nice golden brownish spots are appearing on, on the paratha so our paratha is ready to serve. So here is the easiest method for stuffing. If you are making this paratha for the first time I would encourage to use this method. So here I have taken a big ball size dough and divide it into two equal parts then sprinkle some gluten free flour on the flat surface and make a small round shapes equal shapes equal size shape of those two dough balls here my one a round shape is ready then now I will make it with other dough ball as well Make the other ball smooth, flatten it and roll it with the help of a rolling pin. Use gluten free flour as needed. Now you can see our two round shapes are ready. Both are of same size and same thickness. Now place some spoonful of stuffing at the center of one round shape generous amount of stuffing you need for stuffed parathas they just taste yummy with it and then place another round shape on top of this seal the edges make sure that you seal the edges nicely and now sprinkle again the gluten free flour and roll this again and don't use too much of pressure while rolling because this is very very delicate so handle with care and here our paratha is ready now i'm just with the help of shaper i'm going to give round shape to this but this is optional step i'll show you the thickness of this paratha as well yes here you can see the thickness and now time to cook this paratha so the cooking method is same as we have done previously so just roast it from both the ends apply oil and cook until both the sides are golden and brownish in color 
that makes it crispy as well here our garma garam paratha hot hot paratha is ready hmm that looks so yum yum and this is as well as moldable serve this hot with pickle or yogurt or any vegetable of your choice you can see how nice moldable it is and not at all stiff thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel please like share and comment